host Jennifer Hale, and you're watching Connected Digital World. I should go. So, hello Jen, thanks Hi. for joining us. Would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, yes, I am Jennifer Hale. I am an actress. I do uh, all kinds of things, primarily voiceover, video games, sci-fi, animation, all that stuff. So for those who don't know you, um, what are some of the things they may have heard you in? <laughs> well, let's see. Um, I've done a whole bunch of animated series. I've done uh, a lot of video games. Um, uh, Commander Shepard from Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. Uh, Bastila Shang from Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, Princess Mormont from Powerpuff Girls. And uh, the voice of Cinderella for the last, gosh, umpteen years. So. And more recently you were Naya in ah, Infuse. Infuse, yes, Naya Infuse, yes. And uh, I will be in the upcoming game Knack on the PS4. I can't say who I'm playing, but I was uh, Rosalind the Test in Bioshock. And, uh, so quite an amazing repertoire there. <laughs> I'm a lucky. Yeah. So which was your favorite? Oh, don't make me pick. My next one. Your next one. <laughs> That's the stuff. <laughs> okay, which did you have most fun doing? You know, they're all pretty, pretty, pretty fantastic. I one of the most special things was getting to play Commander Shepard because that role was written not as a man or a woman. It's where I want to see parts going, and I've seen a real hunger for that in the fan base. Like men and women both loved it. They loved that kind of a character as a woman as well. So, what got you started in the business? I fell through a crack in the sidewalk and I woke up in a voiceover booth. <laughs> no. It happens. <laughs> um, I was working in a video production house next to an audio studio and I was still in school and they needed somebody to come over and do a, a voiceover. And I went to a fine arts high school so I knew it was down south and I knew in the States I could talk without an accent and I was shocked that they paid me $30 to talk. So I, I uh, I've always been sort of business-minded, so I bugged the guys at the studio, at Balmo Studios, Greg and Courtney, Courtney, to teach me how to make a reel. And I made a reel, and I kept redoing it every couple months because I'd get dissatisfied with it. And because your learning curve was pretty steep. And I used to go door to door calling on ad agencies with my little demo team, wearing a little suit. <laughs> and then I moved to Atlanta and got my first film gig, and uh, then out to LA and started working from there. Um, and walk us through sort of an average day for you when you're doing voiceover or something. Uh, wake up super early, leave yourself at least an hour to drive anywhere, because it's LA. And um, do crazy, silly warm-ups in the car, you know, get your voice awake, tongue twisters and whatnot. Uh, you show up, you see the script. If it's a game, you've not seen the script typically. Some people do send them in advance, which is lovely, but many don't for a number of reasons. Uh, you see the script, you get as much information as you can, you just jump in blind to the session and, and do it. And then you leave there, grab some food, probably in the car on your way to an audition. You know, stop off and do another one, then maybe do another job, and then go home. Um, how do you sort of create the voice when you get a, a, a gig? For me, voice comes out of character. I try to understand what was in the writer's mind as much as possible. Comprehension and understanding and then connection to that character. Sort out what parts of me match and what parts don't. Uh, what do I want to add in and then go from there. Do you ever have a time when you're doing multiple characters around the same time and you're uh, oh, yeah. having trouble? <laughs> yeah, I've done, there's a series that I've done called Totally Spies and I have two regular roles in that and those two characters fight with each other and argue with each other, which is a blast. So do you, do you record them simultaneously? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's got to be... Um, <laughs> An interesting challenge. It's fun, you know, it just takes a lot of focus, but I love it. And what's next for you then that you can talk about? Oh, well, what's next for me and what's next that I can talk about are two different things. Um, I've got Knack coming out for the PS4. Fuse just came out. Um, oh my gosh. I've been working on Star Wars Detour, so I'm not sure what's happening with that right now. Um, and uh, I've got a couple live action things in the works as well. And nothing you can go into any detail on. Um, I, I can't say anything about the role. One of them is in uh, David Hayter's uh, film, Wolves. I've got a, a small bit in that that was it's a, sort of a pivotal plot point. I won't say anymore. <laughs> um, and do you play games yourself? 
I suck at playing games. Oh yeah. To me, I, I like to understand them. I like to, to keep up with the technology and what's going on with them, so I know where I fit in the puzzle and what's possible. Um, but I, I do them so much, I feel like when I'm not doing them, I need to be out getting real life experience, you know, to bring into the games. I forget. I was somewhere up in the mountains last weekend and I was rock climbing. And I was doing something that was just killing me. It was so hard, you know, and I was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, I gotta remember these sounds. And then I um, I had occasion, I volunteer on a team where we go in and um, pull horses out in advance of brush fires. And I was activated last week on a fire out here called the Powerhouse Fire. And it was, it, it was a great experience to be out there on the lines, approaching a fire, instead of everyone's driving away, literally, all the headlights are coming towards us and we're going to, into the zone. To look, and to be in that situation and deal with danger and a mission and, you know, because I'm not in the military, so I don't get to practice that. I, it helps me have a better understanding, and, and I think I can bring that into the booth, you know, when I'm doing service. So, yeah. so if you could play any character, so who would that character be? Adama in Battlestar Galactica. Original or remake? Remake. Nice. <laughs> and why is that then? Because he's a leader. Because he's got that single-minded mission. So it could have been played by a man or a woman. And because the writing on that show is some of the most beautiful I've ever seen in the direction. It's just about flawless. Um, thank you very much for joining us thank today. Thank you. Thank you so much. So you've done quite a few things then? A couple. A few things people have heard of. Yeah, a couple. So